Hi everybody, welcome to Boxing Time. On this channel you will learn a lot of news from the world of boxing. So here we go. WBA 175 pounds champion Dimitri Bivol has inked his part of the contract to battle for the light. Heavyweight undisputed championship in Saudi Arabia in 2024 against IBF WBC WBO champ Artur Betterbiv. Dimitri has talked non-stop about wanting to fight for the undisputed championship since his victory over Canelo Alvarez last year, and he's now on the precipice of getting his wish if Betterbiv comes through in his next fight. For the fight to take place, however, the 39-year-old Betterbiv must defeat his number one WBC mandatory Callum Smith on January 13th at the Center Videotron Quebec City. If Betterbiv loses the fight, which is very possible, the clash between him and Bival will not happen. This a dangerous fight for Better Biv, as the 6'4 Smith is in the prime of his career, motivated and looking powerful. If Callum shows the same form as he has since moving up to 175 in 2021, he wins this fight by knockout. Considering that Better Biv isn't what he once was when he fought in the 2012 Olymp Usyk in that competition. Dan Raphael is reporting that the 33-year-old Bivol has signed his part of the contract for the Better Biv Undisputed Champion. Now, it's up to Better Biv to do his part to make that fight happen. The fight between Better Biv Bivol has been talked about for the last six years, and it's too bad that it's taken this long, as it would have had more meaning if it had happened when Artur was younger. Better Biv has slowed down in the last two years, and it's harder for him to land his crushing shot nearing 40 years old. What credit will Bivol receive from the fans if he defeats him? The casual fans, who aren't aware of Better Biv's age and how late in his career this fight is taking place, they'll be impressed. But the hardcore fans will view this as another example of a clash that has marinated too long. The long overdue Better Biv Bivol fight is in the same boat as the Anthony Joshua vs. Deontay Wilder or AJ vs. Tyson Fury fights. Those contests should have happened years ago, not with them now in their mid-30s looking washed and only winning now due to clever matchmaking from their calculating promoters bivol successfully defeated challenger lyndon arthur by a 12-round unanimous decision last saturday night on december 23rd on the day of reckoning card in riyadh saudi arabia there's no word yet whether the saudis would be interested in staging a fight between bivol and callum smith in 2024 for the undisputed 175 pounds championship obviously that matchup wouldn't interest Americans because the 33-year-old Callum isn't well-known in the U.S. And the boxing fans that do know of him remember his terrible performance, losing to Canelo Alvarez in 2020 and his controversial win over John Ryder in 2019. Callum wilted under pressure in both fights and shelled up against the ropes like a turtle or sparring partner. Those contests showed that Callum doesn't like fighting aggressive opponents who can punch back. If you saw how badly Better Biv struggled in his last fight against Anthony Yard last January, you've got to give Callum a good chance of winning this fight, provided he doesn't fall apart mentally from the pressure he will put on by the powerful Russian. Better Biv looked slow in that fight, not the champion he'd been in 2017. Subscribe. Please like and comment. This is very important for the development of the channel. See you later.